welcome to the video students in the last video we discussed the definition of evolute and the parametric equation of the basic curves and the working rule to find evolute of the given curve so in this video we will discuss some problems based on how to find evolute of a given curve so first we will take parabola find the equation of evolute of the parabola y square equal to 4x so this is a question so let me see how to find the evolute for this term parabola so what is the working rule we saw in last video so there are we following there are four steps first step we have to take the parametric equations of the given curve so here the given curve is parabola y square equal to 4x we know the parametric equation of this parabola so first write that the parametric equation of the parabola y square equal to 4x is x equal to a t square comma y equal to 2 a t so these are the parametric curves now our next aim is to find y1 and y2 y1 is nothing but dy by dx before getting dy by dx first we have to differentiate this x and y with respect to the parameters where where t is the parameter where t is the parameter so we have to differentiate this x and y with respect to the parameters so find dx by dt so dx by dt is nothing but 2at so differentiation of t square is nothing but 2t a is constant you have to keep as it is so 2at and differentiation of y with respect to t is dy by dt that is nothing but a t differentiation is 1 so 2a into 1 is 2a now easily we can find what is dy by dx so dy by dx equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt so dy by dt is nothing but 2a dy by dt is nothing but 2at so this is nothing but 1 by t 2a 2a get cancelled so you will have 1 by t so this is the value for y1 that is y1 equal to 1 by t next we will find d square y by dx square d square y by dx square is nothing but d by dx of dy by dx so d by dx of dy by dx is nothing but 1 by t so differentiation of 1 by t with respect to x we have to do so differentiation of 1 by t is nothing but minus 1 by t square afterwards here we are differentiating with respect to x so differentiate t with respect to x we have to mention here so minus 1 by t square into dt by dx so minus 1 by t square into dt by dx what is dt by dx already we know what is dx by dt dx by dt before only we found that dx by dt is nothing but 2at so dx by dt equal to 2at so dt by dx means reciprocal for this 1 by 2at take reciprocal so we can get dt by dx so this is nothing but 1 by 2at therefore y2 is nothing but minus 1 by 2a t square into t is t cube now we got a uh, y1 y2 values now we can proceed the next step to find the center of curvatures the so center of curvature is nothing but x bar and y bar our next aim is to find the center of curvatures center of curvature that is c x bar comma y bar so here 
here x bar is nothing but x minus y1 by y2 into 1 plus y1 square that is equal to what is x means that is a given parametric equation our parametric equation is x equal to at square y equal to 2at so this is our parametric equation so you have to substitute this x value here so this is at square minus y1 is nothing but 1 by t y2 is nothing but minus 1 by 2a t cube into 1 plus y1 square is nothing but 1 by t square now just simplify this <coughs> at square here minus the minus gives plus 1 by t and this 1 by 2a t goes a reciprocal 2a t cube into here take lcm t square plus 1 divided by t square so here we will have at square plus cancel this t t square and whole t cube so t t square is t cube and this t cube get cancelled so remaining you will have 2a into t square plus 1 now this is at square plus expand this 2a inside this function so 2a t square plus 2a so next line a t square is the a t square plus 2 a t square is nothing but 3 a t square plus 2 a. So this is the value of our x bar. <coughs> so here uh, after this we can convert this form x bar minus 2 a equal to 3 a t square because after getting x bar and y bar we are going to eliminate the parameter. So just separate the parameter from this equation so here we can get t square equal to x bar minus 2a divided by 3a take this as equation number one. now we expressed in terms of parameter okay t is our parameter in terms of parameter we express this equation <coughs> next we will discuss y bar okay next we will see y bar y bar is nothing but y plus 1 by y2 into 1 plus y1 square so y value is nothing but 2a t plus 1 by y2 is minus 1 by 2a t cube into 1 plus 1 by t square so here 2a t plus into minus minus if we uh, 1 by 2a t cube it goes reciprocal so 2a t cube into t square plus 1 divided by t square so next line you can write this is 2a t minus this t square and 2 power get cancelled we will have 1 power 2a t into t square plus 1 now expand this 2a t inside so you will have 2a t into t square is 2a t cube then minus the plus minus 2a t and see here plus 2at minus 2at get cancelled therefore y bar equal to minus 2a t cube from this similarly we can uh, express the equation in the name of parameter so t cube equal to y bar by minus 2a so this is equation number 2 now see from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2, the first equation is we are having t square equal to what is that? t here t square equal to x bar minus 2a by 3a we have to t cube equal to y bar by minus 2a so our aim is here make the power is common t to the power is common so here uh, in equation number 1 power is 2 in equation number 2 power is 3 so the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6 so make the power 6 here in first equation make the uh, t to the power 6 how to make t to the power 6 means you will take uh, power 3 on both sides raise the power 3 on both sides in the first equation so we can one the first equation is t square equal to x power minus 2a divided by 3a now just raise power 3 on both sides 
so we can get x power minus 2a by 3a whole cube so we can get t power 6 is equal to x bar minus 2a whole cube divided by 3 cube 27 a cube take this is equation number 3 next from equation number 2 our second equation is t cube equal to minus y bar divided by 2a so here how to make t to the power 6 so just raise the power 2 on both sides so minus y bar by 2a whole square so you can get t power 6 is equal to t power 6 is equal to y bar square divided by 2 square 4 a square I think this is equation number 4 now from 3 and 4 third equation what is the third equation left hand side is t power 6 fourth equation also left hand side is t power 6 so both equation we are having left hand side is equal so we can conclude that right hand side is also equal so in third equation right hand side is x power minus 2a whole cube divided by 27 a cube in right hand side you we are having y bar square by 4a square now cancel is a square 2 power get cancel so remaining we will have 4 into x bar minus 2a whole cube equal to 27a y bar square that's it see in this equation we have only in terms of x bar y bar here t is eliminated in this equation there is no t terms so t the parameter t is eliminated using x bar and y bar therefore this is called equation of evolute actually this is this is for a center of curvature so we need to take all the center of curvature that is called locus therefore the locus of the center of curvature the locus of the center of curvature is 4 into x minus 2a whole cube equal to 27a y square just remove that bar x bar simply denoted as x y bar simply denoted as y so this is the equation of evolute of the given parabola so i hope you understood this problem thank you